Hey, 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 Skirt the Boat Doctor. Out here in this 2021, I believe, 25 Admiral. Beautiful boat. Look at that. Look at them chines down there, lifting strakes, whatever you want to call it. Heavy duty reverse. Yeah, look at that. That's what keeps it stable and those lift the boat up. Uh, trailer needs to be adjusted. It's running up on the strake over here. Uh, keel roll, of course, like always. Uh, the boat don't run on that. You just have to learn how to get how much of this trailer into the water. Uh, so if you get it too deep, it protects it. So these are basically 100% wood free. You don't have to worry about that. Huge fish boxes inside, which I'll show you. That large reverse chine that I just showed you. A steep dead rise and entry. I already showed you that self bailing duck uh, deck. It's got uh, like the fuel range is unbelievable. You can go like 55 miles offshore, no problem. 135 gallon fuel tank in this. Um, nice seating. You can sit at least five people dry inside. Got all that deck room. And I'll show you why you have all that deck room when I get into the boat. Very fuel efficient, unsinkable. Uh, Anyway, you got twin 150s. You got a left hand. You can see how that goes to the left. That goes to the right. So that you got left and right performance. And these got the lockable hubs. These are lockable so nobody can steal your props. You don't think about that, but stainless is pretty damn expensive. So those are locks. So they can't steal your props. Pretty good idea, huh? And then your trim tabs are inset like that. That's nice. And then you got your active free in one transducer over here. You got yourself bailing with the ping pong balls there. You got to kick the bracket right there. Uh, two coats of clear, two coats of primer, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, special paint, zinc internally. Every cylinder zinc on the main block. You got zinc up underneath. Uh, you got your my drain plug zinc there. You got a one kilowatt transducer on the back. Load guides, electric crab dab. That's beefy. You got rear deck light got the new controls those are really nice actually the new yamaha controls i'll show you that when i run the boat on part part two of running the boat and then i'm going to have a part three for the electronics so that's a left and right 150 uh, it pushes this boat just fine you got a vhf antenna sitting up there four four by four bunks you got the gear oil hub which is good six lugs that's heavy duty uh, probably 80 pounds of torque, maybe even up to 110. And uh, I'm almost sure these are 225, 75R15s. Yeah, they are. And uh, now what we're gonna do is go on the inside. And then basically on this also, before I forget, is 86 beam, dead rise of 22 degrees on this. Uh, a lot of this stuff is uh, like, uh, what do you call it, standard. And then you got U-Flex steering on one. If you go to autopilot, I would probably, unless you went with C-Star, I'd probably do another RAM on here. It just helps your autopilot. You can do it with a single. But anyway, back in here, you got your wraparound rails. And they put the batteries and the switches on the inside. That's why you got all this, whoa, deck room and why you got all this mess right here. Uh, let me see. All my notes everywhere. See, notes 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 more notes let me see so i already made notes on this one on the trailer so anyway this is my unplugger right here so this is a blooper you like bloopers i'm going to put this thing down for a second hello there guys let's straighten this mess up so so far all i got on here because like I say, the trailer needs to be adjusted. Hello, are you still there? I'm here. Just got to put all my stuff back together again. And there we go. Now we'll go in here, the drop cloths. They need to take them back. So anyway, like I say, the batteries and switches are up here. So if you did take on water, they're not going to get submerged. Got backing plates back there for your motor. Strengthens it up. That's all steel. That's independent of the hole that offshore bracket is. You got your primer bulbs right here. You always want to make sure the arrow is pointed up. And there's the arrow. And I got to prime them. And that one primed pretty good. You can use this for a foot toe hold. It does have bolster cushions like these that go to the back. And that's up to you whether you want to use those or not. I got to use my other hand because my neck's kind of 
gunny bag and I'm waiting to see what they want to do on getting that fixed because I have no strength in my right hand anymore. But you know, dealing with insurance companies. And then in here's the fish box. Here you got one over there. You got two fish boxes sitting there. Pop up this. Nothing to rust there on these, that which is nice. You got your stop, which they added. Just gonna make sure none of these are like a live well. Then you got a battery charger, looks like right there. That's your plug. Yep, right there. So then your wash down hose is right there. That's to get to the fittings. Then in here. With your batteries off, this is how you can check if your build pump's working. You can just hit that right there. This is your seacock valve for your wash down. This is your macerator pump for the fish boxes. There's your water separator here, stick with Yamaha. You got one for each motor, 10 microns are the big ones. Seacock valve, that dumps your water overboard for the fish boxes. And when you got it like this, that does that box. You go here, that does that box. And then that's off and that switches up front so then you got your electric crab to have it the blocks in here you hear put that rope that's a tensioner you got the new controls right here you got your station to switch you got your neutral hold right here single lever control if you got three motors here center motor uh, hydraulic boom boom that steers HDS9, this must be that live version. I'll set all that stuff up. You got rear deck lights. You got the nice captain's chairs. And under here, is your battery charger. And there's your battery switch. There's your batteries. Over here, storage. And here's to get to the rear deck. The helm. And under here, it should be like a build pump. Yep, build pump right there. You just switch that, turn that on to see if that works. You got your porta pot. Nice controls again. That's how you get to your controls through that hatch. The Link 9, you got two of them, one in front, one in back, trim tabs. There's your start, left and right, your ignition switch, your trim tabs, your 6YC gauge. Uh, there's another in dash Lowrance, probably 12 inch windows. I like these, these pop up. You want some ventilation. That really gives it to you. Uh, nice hatch, those little red levers are locked so you can lock it out. That's to get to the back of the electronic box. And this one here is the worst pump. Live well, it doesn't have live well. These are all spares. Nav lights, I'll check those. Wipers, they work. Spreader lights, I like that. Horn works. Trim tabs work, build pump works, fish box works, horse down works. And then I'll set all the electronics up. So then we're gonna do part two is gonna be the running, part three will be the electronics. Okay, this is the boat doctor. Ow!